Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about adjustment of chromatographic conditions according to USP General Chapter 621. In this video we are going to talk about adjustment in liquid chromatography in case of isocratic evolution and very specifically about the detector wavelength. So according to USP General Chapter 621, the adjustment in detector wavelength is not permitted. So the discussion for this video is what is the reason that the USP General Chapter 621 does not allow any change in the detection wavelength. So let us understand with the help of these five important points that why USP 621 general chapter does not allow any variation into a detection wavelength. The first point is interested compound may go missing because of change in the detection wavelength. How this is possible? Let us say that you have a detection wavelength 254 nanometer given into a monograph method. In case if you decide to make the change into detection wavelength to a 300 nanometer. So in case if there is no absorbance found for the compound at 300 nanometer, then that particular compound will never get detected with your changed detection wavelength. And hence, even though that compound is present inside the sample, it will just go missing. You will not be able to detect that impurity and hence you will not be able to understand the content of that impurity into your sample. And this is very dangerous situation and because of that, the change in wavelength is not permitted. The specificity of method may get compromised. Now what is the specificity? Specificity is nothing but an ability of your analytical procedure to quantify the analyte without interference from the sample matrix or the diluent. So, the proposed wavelength in a monograph is designed in such a way that the sample matrix interference or the interference from diluent will get nullified. But in case if you decide to change the wavelength and if that changed wavelength brings the interference from the matrix, brings the interference from the diluent, your specificity of method will immediately get compromised. There can be interferences coming at the retention time of your analytes and hence the change in the detection wavelength is not permitted by USP General Chapter 621. The third reason Sensitivity of method may get compromised. If you select a wavelength where the analyte has poor absorption and this poor absorption will result into a poor response which will end up with the poor sensitivity for your analytical method. Now this will also lose some of the low content impurities which otherwise could have been got detected with the original wavelength but as your changed wavelength has the poor absorptivity those lower content impurities will just go missing as they do not get any kind of response during the chromatographic run. So it is very dangerous situation. In addition to that, the limit of quantitation for your analytical method can also get changed. 
in case if the response is getting changed the sensitivity of analytical method is getting changed absolutely this will have a direct impact on to the quantitation level and this may be a problem in case if the quantitation level goes above your reporting threshold so the change in detection wavelength is not permitted as it can negatively impact the method's sensitivity the point number 4 is the relative response factor or rrf for impurity may get changed now in case if the uv spectra of impurity and uv spectra of your principal compound or drug substance they are not similar so they can have a different absorption at different wavelength so this difference in absorption value can change the response factor for your impurities in case if your monograph method has given certain relative response factor values which the original wavelength given in the monograph so if you change the wavelength then there is no guarantee that the relative response factor mentioned into a main monograph still can be used there can be a change into the relative response factor and if you do not correct that probably that will further lead the error in the quantification of the impurities it's a very serious matter the point number 5 is detectors linearity may be lost so in case if the response is very low or very high at the changed wavelength what is the guarantee that your detector still lies in the range of linear response your response may get saturated let us say at the selected or changed wavelength and hence there can be possibility of failure in linearity so the change in detector wavelength can also compromise your detector's linearity so these are the very important point which makes to recommend that the wavelength must not be changed so in case if you are looking for such kind of very informative and useful videos please join the whatsapp community of the pharma growth hub and how to join that click the link in the description which will help you to join the whatsapp group of the pharma growth hub and you will be able to receive all the content on to the whatsapp group immediately thank you so much